get stuff together, we're going to talk here. The, uh, some people have been having some trouble with their bikes, it's unexplainable. And now it has got me. And uh, on my Cranbrook or the Willow bike, the uh, I got a BBR stage one, basically a catnip, whatever, on it. And drove it to the levee today, went on the back side of the levee, sat there for a little bit, got on the bike, 10 mile an hour on the back side of the levee, and it just kills. It's not gas related. It's like you hit the stop button, which I do not have a stop button on it. And if you're smart, you will take it off your bike because that's just something else to mess up. My belief is, you can call me crazy, you can call me whatever you want, that's fine. Just don't call me late for lunch. Uh, inside here is magnet wire. Magnet wire is a has a thin shellac coating. So it's wrapped tightly in there. And I noticed something here that's kind of not odd, strange. The red wire ones. are eight hundred and eighty thousandths the stock ones are seven hundred and twenty five thousandths so obviously there's not as many wraps as there is in these let's see what this one is and that one is 900. So, this is going to be a little bit not difficult to explain, but this is how I how I look at it. Okay? So let's do a here. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. But, uh, Let's say this is the total length of what's in here, and we know it's not, but let's just say it is. So we got, let's call it four foot, okay? Let's say none of this is supposed to touch because it's shellac coated just like in here or lacquer coated or, or, or whatever magnet wire is. So let's say we touch it right here. Let's say it shorts out at this distance. We still got, you know, a foot and a half here, a foot and a half here. We got a three foot. Let's say it shorts out right here. Now our path is a lot less. And I think that's what's happening. I think. I don't know. I think. So we're going to rip these apart. And I'm going to do it right now. And then I'm going to measure the diameter of the wire. And then I'm going to measure how long the wire is. What I want to do, take one of these apart, measure what size magnet wire is. And what is this one? Three, four. Yeah, three, four. Okay. So, what I want to do is measure the wire the magnet wire and then make a wrap and epoxy it make a wrap and epoxy it make a wrap and epoxy it and buy some good quality coated wire that's the wire higher bolt I'm going to do some research. I'm going to see what this wire is.
Let's see if we can get this thing to replicate what it's been doing. That's a completely cold engine too. I think it just did it. Yeah, it sure did. For no reason whatsoever, it just dies. I can pedal it for a little bit. Pop right back off. That's it right there. That's what it's doing. And you can pedal it for a little bit. Like not it happened. crazy right there. That's just crazy how it's doing it. That's the reason I don't take this bike on any long distance. And I do not know what it is. It's always cranked back up and it's always limp back home, but. Maybe it's going in, down and out now. I don't know. Yeah. That's crazy. So, I'm saying it's the Magneto. We'll see.
Okay. Y'all remember this, I know. This torture machine. Look back on the video where I was doing the engine series and checking on the electrical systems and you'll see why it's a torture machine, but I am smart today. I have rubber gloves on and that's going to prevent me from getting shot. Fetching this, we have not get the shot. It's hot though. Oh, shit. Yeah. But it's a lot different. Just there, the gloves on. <clears throat> so, was it worth it doing the uh, putting the epoxy all over it. I wound it with uh, different magnet wire. This, and if you read the, what I posted up there, wire size doesn't matter in a lot of them. So it calls for 38 gauge. I put uh, 34, which is one third bigger. And, uh, all the wire I cut off when I weighed, and it weighed 50 grams, and these are 50 gram rolls. So I just put the whole roll on it, like you saw in the video. Uh, I'll let you decide for yourself. Try to get at a gap of a spark plug. <laughs> 